Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Monday, January 13th, 2019. Let's get these cards shuffled up and let's see where the energy is going today, what we need to know, what we want to know, and strategies that we can utilize in our day to make our day a little bit more efficient, effective, and hopefully better. Now that the weekend's passed, we're all looking forward to the week, get through it, get our things done that we want to get done, and move forward into the next weekend, right? So let's see what our day looks like. A couple of more shuffles. There we go. And I think we're all set. Put these cards down. Our first pile. Our second pile. And finally, our third pile. There we go. And I'm thinking today that I'm kind of drawn to this last pile. Let's see what we have for cards, shall we? We have the Hermit. Let's talk a bit about the Hermit. It's a major arcana card, so it's all about major events in our life and uh, major advice for us in our life, right? It's all about things that we can't change, but things that we can adapt um, to and work with. I'm just going to bring this card a little closer because I really do like this card. So this is one of my favorite cards. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about some of the key words for it. Um, number one is enlightenment, um, self-enlightenment, spiritual enlightenment, um, soul-searching comes to mind. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, Self-reflection comes to mind. Introspection, contemplation, um, solitude, um, spending time with oneself, getting to know the shadow self, working with the shadow self. All different things that come to mind right now. Um, when we look at the general context of it, this card is all about self-reflection. It's all about looking inward. Um, this is a good time for you to become a little bit more introverted. Spend some time with yourself, um, really getting to know yourself a little bit more. Maybe doing some shadow work, looking at some of the things about yourself that you're not very fond of and trying to understand why they're there and how they can help you. Um, obviously, not everything we do is for our better good. So understand too that there may be things within ourselves that we may want to modify a little bit and change a little bit. But it's all about a time for um, self-enlightenment, spiritual enlightenment, um, and spending time on your own by yourself to get a deeper understanding of yourself. Just getting out of the daily grind, especially after the weekend and the beginning of the week, this might be a good time for you to somewhat isolate yourself, withdraw yourself from a lot of the activities around you, and um, just look within and um, do some self-work. This is also a card <clears throat> energy that's really mindful of getting out of, removing yourself from a difficult situation. If there's things going on right now that you really don't know which way you should go, how you should act, should act on it, this is a good time to step back from that situation and do that introspective work and see what it is and why it is and how it is you want to proceed. Um, when we look at this card um, specifically, like I said, it's one of my favorite cards because for us to really do well with others, we really need to do well with ourselves, right? So this is a great time for that introspective work. Now, from a love and relationship standpoint, um, this is all about maybe feeling lonely, maybe feeling um, a sense of um, issues going on that's causing loneliness. Or it could be issues going on that you're involved in currently with friends or a significant other <clears throat> that maybe you'd be better off pulling back just a little bit and spending some time on your own. I'm not saying separation, of course, but certainly spend some time on your own getting to a better understanding as to what's going on or a better understanding as to how to respond next to a situation. But the more important thing is right now, it's important for you to be focused upon yourself and spending a little bit of time with yourself, um, either removing yourself from situations or working through some things going on. Now, from a money and a career standpoint, this is all about you shifting your attentions uh, between activities that um, um, don't leave you fulfilled as much as you have been in the past, making uh, leaving you feeling a little bit empty, to shifting to activities that will make you feel 
much more fulfilled on various different levels, both professionally as well as personally. This is um, the time for you um, to motivate yourself to either seeking a new career path or seeking a new um, avenue within the job that you have. Maybe you've been approaching things from a standpoint you feel like you're banging the heads or um, hitting a wall. <clears throat> this is a good time to step back and see um, what your next, next approach should be. Um, it's always better to step back from situations before acting on them to thoroughly think these through and to come up with a better strategy for yourself rather than acting impulsively. So this card is all about the anti-impulsive actions rather than acting impulsively, rather than responding impulsively. This is a card that tells us it's better to step back, spend some time away, contemplate, meditate, think about things, and then move forward. So all in all, like I said, this is one of my favorite cards. I think it's a great card for Monday, right? And I hope you enjoyed this reading. I look forward to reading you all again tomorrow. Until then, be safe, be well, and be blessed.